All right, so everybody did a good job on that. Okay, so five times three, 15, you count by fives. Two times nine, 18, you do the double, okay, the double picture. Five times eight, we're counting by fives again. Eight times one, okay, cross out the one, it's always the other number. And seven times zero, cross out the seven, it's always zero. All right, so those are zero, one, two, and five. But today's focus is gonna be on nines and peg words. So uh, go ahead and get out your notes, okay? If anybody needs an extra copy of notes, uh, I got one. Everybody have one? Looks like, oh, good job, everybody has it. Okay, so uh, we'll keep that. All right, so when we're looking at nines, look for nines. If you find it, it ignore the nine. Look at another number, subtract one from the number. Put your, in, put your answer in the tens place. Look at the link to the number in the ones place. Okay, so what we're looking at, say, 9 times 6. 9 times 6, look at your notes. Okay, you can see the board, you can always use this. It's probably not the best from far in the back, but... So, 9 times 6. Okay, so the first thing we're doing is we're looking for one number less than 6, right? Okay, that's 5. Okay, and then we use our link. 4 and 5 are links, so the other is 54. 54. Alright, so what we're going to do again, okay, we're going to use our marker boards, and we're going to write 7 times 9, we're going to write 9 times 8, and we're going to write 9 times 9. All right, as we do these, I will, uh, I will walk you through them, and then we'll have, I'll walk you through one more, and then we'll do the rest together, or the rest on your own, on your boards. Okay, so we'll do nine times nine. One less than nine is eight, okay? Eight is linked to a one, so eight and one. All right, go ahead and write seven times nine, nine times eight on your board. And I will uh, give you just a few seconds to get those figured out. You guys have your board, 63, 9 times 8, 72. Okay, it's just important that you minus 1 from the, 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 the number that 9 is being times by, and then use your link system. If you have your notes, okay, you always can link them up. All right, let's go ahead and re move on to reviewing peg words. So, today, the majority of today is going to focus on memorizing our peg words. We're going to play a memory game here later, and we're going to make the memory cards. We're going to have the peg word as one memory at the time, and the symbol, right, and the symbol, and or the symbol. See, it depends how good a draw you are. And then the number, okay? So, as we're reviewing this, we got to remember that number one is sun. Okay? Two, shoe. Three, tree. Alright? Notice that they rhyme. Okay? Three, tree. Okay? Four, door. Six, sticks. Seven, heaven. Eight, gate. Nine, line. Twelve, elf. Sixteen is mixing. Eighteen, baiting. 20 is twenty, 30 is dirty, 40 is worthy, 50 is gifty, and 60 is witchy. Do we have a copy of this somewhere? Yes, it's on your notes. Okay. It's on the back, probably on the back page. 
I, I gave you need a copy? Yeah, I guess I'm gonna do one. Okay. <clears throat> All right, there you go. Okay, so there's there are those a copy of those. All right. For now, okay, when you do your multiplication, we've been referring to our notes. Now I want to start getting away from that okay, and doing those on your own without and recalling it for memory. Okay, for some example problems, let's look at example problems. Three times three, okay? So, we're looking at three times three. Tree times tree on a line. So, tree times tree on a line is, what is, on, what is line? Nine. Nine, okay, good. Let's look at the next one. Uh, three, so tree times four door. Tree with a door. Four and L. Okay, so tree with the door, four and L. Three times twelve. Three times four is twelve. A couple more. Tree and sticks. Okay, so we have tree and sticks. Okay, are baiting. Tree and sticks are baiting. And then the last one we'll review is three times seven. Three in heaven, so three times seven, by a twin T sun. So what they did is they took twin T, which is 20, and then you combine one of these numbers over here to get it. Twin T sun. Okay? Twin T sun. So once again, that's peg words with those numbers. So now we're going to work on creating our memory game. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give you sticky notes. Okay, everybody's going to get a bunch of these. All right? And we're going to either write the number. Write the number. So if this is my sticky note, I write one. Okay? And then on the next one, I write sun, or I can draw a picture, or both. Okay, so in the memory game, these two are matches. So it's going to help you memorize your connections between your numbers and your peg words. Okay, so I'll give you that. You can just pass it around and take about, uh, let's see how many, one, two, three, 12, 16. So you need 16 cards. Okay? And so today we're working on memorizing the peg words and the numbers. Alright. Everybody, everybody get 16 of those? No. Okay. So I have markers in the back. Okay, you can use markers if you don't want to use your pencil or your pen. Make it colorful. I'm going to give you about uh, five minutes, maybe a little longer, to get this done. Okay? So it'll be kind of quick, but uh, try your best. 